Pastor John Gray and his wife, Aventer Gray, went on the reel to supposedly clear up the rumors surrounding Pastor John Gray and his strange woman, which broke in January when Aventer Gray went on a tirade in a service talking about she put scripture on that strange woman. I'm standing with my husband, and you can go on back to the pits of hell where you came from. Yeah, was I upset? Yes. Was I heartbroken? Yes. But you better learn how to get in there for the, what, what's the vows? Better and worse. Okay, so when the worst shows up, you don't run away. When the worst shows up, you pray. Now, I might have said a few words and uh, told him to sleep on the couch and some other things. However, when the word is inside of you and you know what your position is, everything else is false. I know who I am. I am the rib that God took from him. I'm his rest in brokenness, rib, rest in brokenness, until he wakes up and understands who he is. You pray, wife, while the devils run away. Amen? I'm not saying to sit there in perpetual foolishness. I'm saying to pray the devils away. If you give up too soon, he wins. But he couldn't have this purpose. He knew what this was. And he was coming for y'all. That's why he came for us. We know better. We know better. I see you, devil, but you don't want it with me. I get in the eyes of the devil. Do you hear me? Now, if you haven't seen my video yet where I expose the truth about John Gray's mistress, check out the video here. It doesn't say much, well, listen to this. It also says in Proverbs 23, 27, For a whore is a deep ditch, and a strange woman is a narrow pit. Ooh, that's deep, y'all. The Bible calls a strange woman a whore. The strange woman is a trap or a setup for failure. Some other versions of the Bible also use the word prostitute in place of whore. Basically, a is telling us that John Gray's mistress was a prostitute. So when asked on the real, did you have an affair, Pastor John Gray says no, and then goes on to give a BS explanation of his emotional affair, and that's what we're here to talk about. If this is your first time here, welcome to Messy World. You love messy, but we're here to bring it. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So around January, when the news of John Gray's cheating scandal first broke, is when Larry Reed Live first leaked the voicemail messages that John Gray had left his mistress over a weekend. In the leaked voicemail messages, you can hear John Gray's desperation because he couldn't get into contact with his mistress, asking her if she was ignoring him. Just in case you missed it, listen to this. Yo, are you, like, ignoring me now? I'm just trying to make sure. Let me get this straight. I'm being ignored by someone who I have fought to sow seed into, get resources to. I'm in your city, and I can't get a call back. I just wanted to make sure I got my facts straight. Got it. When you get this message deleted, my wife saw our text messages from Friday. She knows you were in the same hotel as me. Now, in those voicemail messages, he mentions that he sold seed to her. In church lingo, that is just code for he paid her or gave her some money. That definitely lines up with the truth I revealed about his strange woman being like a prostitute. I mean, y'all heard him say he gave her some resources. Anyways, so John Gray says he began to converse with someone other than a counselor or pastoral leader. Over a year ago, uh, my wife and I were in a very difficult place in our marriage. And in that time, uh, I began to converse with someone 
other than a counselor, other than a pastoral leader, which is where I should have taken my yeah. issues and challenges. Now he says he was having some challenges, hmm. but what he didn't say is what those challenges were. Those challenges that he did not mention might have been the fact that he had a side who he was providing resources for and he didn't want to tell his wife about. He says he was in the presence of someone. First, and I was even in the presence of that person one time. But being in the presence of someone is not the same as sleeping with them. I did not sleep with anyone. I, there's no baby. There's none of that. And so it's important for me to take responsibility for the areas where I did come up short. Okay. Sharing things about my marriage outside of my wife and outside of trusted counselors is an emotional affair. It was wrong. I take responsibility for that. But I will not take responsibility for that which I did not do. Now right there is where I want you to think about what he said because he did not go on to share what he was doing in the presence of this someone, hmm, his mistress. The Bible says to avoid even the appearance of evil. So if Pastor John Gray truly did not have an affair affair, then he would have stayed out of the presence of this someone. Surely he knew that being in the presence of this someone would look like a, y'all know if it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, then it is a duck. Y'all know what it is. Notice that he didn't want to call her a strange woman on the show as his wife did before. And if you look at Aventor's face while he's mentioning taking responsibility for this, she's just smiling all hard and big, trying to make it seem like what her husband is saying is believable, but she knows it's not. Further, he said he comes to the pulpit as a broken man, but he wants to use this as an opportunity for other people to heal. How can other people heal from something that you're still broken over. Seems like you would want to come to the pulpit as a healed man versus being a broken man. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of hearing John Gray talk about how broken he is. I'm just waiting on him to get healed. And going back to his leaked voicemail message. When you get this message deleted, my wife saw our text messages from Friday. By the sounds of his voice, this doesn't sound like a man who is just in the presence of someone. This sounds like a man who has something to hide. I mean, why would he tell his mistress to delete her messages if he was just in the presence of her? Sounds like a man who was desperate for another meetup and greet up, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know, but this was definitely a mess and we're done cleaning it up. Tell us what you think. Was John Gray being truthful when he said that all he did was have an emotional affair? Or do you think that there was just too many things that he didn't mention that reveal the actual truth? Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Please like, share, and subscribe for more messy entertainment.